Free just uh, sounding the whistle. The Blues getting their final instructions before they get this game off and running. Forest, of course, in their usual colours of red and white. Blues equally so in their blue and white. So can the Blues, all conquering under-18s, go back to the top of the Premier League North table? Champions for the last two seasons, a win here at Forest, and they will be where they want to be, looking down on the rest once again. From home, they've had their issues here at home. Been impressive. Be it City have a little bit of a sighter. Goes well off target in the end, but uh, at least the Blues have constructed something. Nice captain McAdam. The City ball, Samuel judged it well enough. But, uh, Forrest onto it with Nadine, who hit the shot, and he'll get a second go, and he'll score from it. Well, it was pretty fortuitous, to be honest, because the initial shot was blocked, but it just popped up. But uh, it was just one of those ricochets that could have gone anywhere. It fortuitously landed straight in the path of Nadine, and with one or two City players unsure where the ball was spinning, he just walloped it out of the reach of the helpless True Grant. Fair to say that Grant has touched the ball more than any other City player so far. It's long ball up to Lawrence, but a good header away by Hanks. It's back by Wright, and I think the arm came out from Grant there. Now, has the referee given a free kick? Because that was handling a back pass, it was. And Nottingham Forest have the opportunity here. A real chance for Forrest to make it 2-0 here. Let's see what happened. The touch was then played and the Blues charged too early, but in the end the referees allowed it to go and City have blocked it before it could do any damage. To Mdala, Naylor's on his outside. There is Naylor now, towards Umdala. Couldn't quite get to it, promising for a moment. And now, on the counter-attack, here's Brown. Support from the goal scorer, Nadine. Shot wide from McAdam. Grant, I think, was confident that uh, the angles that he had were accurate. And another sighter for Forrest. Lane. Samuel. To the city captain. Kiki. Trying to get round the back. It's up Can he get it in? He hits the top of the bar and then driven in by Lawrence and off the line. Now Okiki kept his footing, wins the corner. Two great chances for the Blues. One thundered against the bar by Obabwado. And then a second effort blocked from Lawrence and then a, another terrific attempt. Saved at full stretch by Aaron Bott. Seven minutes plus, I imagine there's two or three more. For half time. It's Nadine whose goal separates the sides. Here's Powell. Again, it's a really good, crisp shot. True Grant did well to just parry it away. Might be in for a second goal here, and they are. And Nadine. He's on target again. Well, City were playing out from the back, as is their philosophy. But the ball broke for McAdam, and he released Nadine. And Nadine, Nadine gets his second goal of the game. And the Blues have got it all to do now. 
Lean again. Naylor once more. And Dala. A couple of challenges and he keeps on going on Dala. That's wonderful from him. And the cross is turned into his own net. It's an own goal for the Blues. Brilliant wing play from Undala. And City are back in this. An own goal, perhaps, but Undala gets the plaudits. No doubt about that. City back in the game. To Bott. That's clearance not great. That Maskell pounces on it. Heskey, Harrison. Undala. Good hit. Another good save by Bott. Undala with his hands on his head. Can't quite believe it. City hammering on the door now. Or kick it. Whittingham on the half turn. Couldn't take it with him. Harrison does. Harrison. Heskey! They're back in it at 2 2, and there's enough time to turn it around and win it. The weight of pressure was enormous. Eventually, Forrest's resistance broken, and Jaden Heskey gets his second goal since becoming a blue in the under 18 side. The full response. Here's Whittingham. That's beautifully done. Now then, Harrison. Great ball. Right across the face of the goal, no one gets a touch. Goal kick, beautifully worked by City again. And Harrison got to the byline, squared it, beat the goalkeeper with it. But no one could get a touch wearing neither blue nor red. And the referee concludes proceedings and the City players feel a little bit disappointed, which tells you everything about their powers of recovery today. They trailed 2-0 early in the second half, but it was never in their thought that they were anything other than still in this game. An own goal after some brilliant work by Undala gave them the platform. Heskey with an equaliser. They hit the bar a couple of times. Aaron Bott made two or three wonderful saves. But in the end, there wasn't just enough time for City to grab the winning goal that would have taken them to the top of the Premier League North table. As it is, they are well and truly clear in second, but two behind the leaders, Sunderland. So the final score, wonderful entertainment at the Nigel Doughty Academy in Nottingham. Nottingham Forest, two. City's under-18s, two.